All right, today we're gonna talk about relief cuts. So I've got a couple examples. These are just examples I found from last year that never got completed. Uh, a relief cut, we, we kind of started a relief cut practice in our, in our scroll saw practice. Uh, right up here, the notch uses a little bit of relief cut action, but uh, we've got a couple different examples here, and I'm gonna show you how I plan out my relief cuts. So if I were to do something like this, I can not start my scroll saw cut here, cut up to the top, pivot, cut down, pivot, cut up, and so on. It doesn't work like that. So my relief cut, I'm gonna draw in right there. So I'm gonna cut all the way across, and that piece would fall off. Then I'm gonna come in here and cut to the corner, uh, so, you know, I don't need a relief cut for that because this is all gone. That's all gone. I'm coming in and cutting down, backing out. But now I need a relief cut to chip this piece out. So I would probably draw in that line. I'm going to come in from the top, cut all the way down, and then this piece comes out. Again, I'm going to come in from the edge all the way to the corner, and I'm gonna need a relief cut here. So this piece comes out. And then, last but not least, so this is this is a really basic example. These are hardly relief cuts, but uh, still they are, just a little bit. So in this example, could I possibly cut all the way around to here, and then cut out, and this whole thing would piece, this, this whole piece would fall off? Could I? Absolutely. But you are gonna need a lot of practice for that. Um, the outside is easy, because I can come in here with a relief cut, back it out. I could come in here, with a relief cut. The name of the game is chipping pieces out. So that would fall off, this would fall off. If I came in here, that piece would fall off. So you're creating breakaway pieces. For the inside here, again, could I come in on this line, cut on the inside of that wave, a nice smooth curve and then cut out? Yeah, absolutely but it's going to work a lot better if I had some sort of relief to break some pieces out. So for the inside of this wave, I would probably cut into here, come uh, back out, and then I would start my cut coming in to here and this whole piece would break out. Then I would continue on and my second piece would would break out. So it, there's no, it's not a specific science. There's not one right answer. Uh, it is kind of what your experience level is, what your comfort level is, but uh, relief cuts are definitely necessary. So we've got a much more complex example here, and this definitely, definitely needs relief cuts. This is gonna require a lot of chipping out. So uh, I would probably Hmm, I'd probably come in here, chip that piece out, and then I can cut all the way straight down. Uh, I would probably do another relief cut, cutting straight down here. Um, I might want to come in to this corner so I can cut that angle and down and then back out. But then I have all these pieces, I have all these cuts, but these pieces are still attached. So I might want to come in here and cut across so that one of these pieces chips out. The name of the game is chipping pieces out. Then I can bring my blade over here and cut across so that this whole piece comes out. So it's getting a little complicated, I know, but now we can cut down uh, and to start removing the rest of that material. 
Uh, for this, I would probably cut right down to that corner so that comes out. I'd probably come in here, cut the angle so that that came out, and then you just keep moving, uh, moving down the line. So this is this is really this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a lot of relief cuts. This is gonna take a lot of patience. Something like this would need relief cuts, but it's a lot more basic. Something like this, kind of whatever you're comfortable with.